good Cesario. That old and antique song we heard last night. Me thoughts it did relieve my passions much. Come here, the boy. If ever thou shalt love in the sweet pangs of it, remember me. For such as I am, all true lovers are. Unstayed and skittish in all motion else, save in the constant image of the creature that is beloved. Now, dost thou like this tune? It gives a very echo to the seat where love is throned. Thou dost speak masterly. My life upon it. Young though thou art, thine eye hath stayed upon some favour that it loves, hath it not, boy? A little, by your favour. What kind of woman is? Of your complexion? <laughs> <laughs> She's not worth thee, then. What years, in fact? About your years, my lord. <laughs> Too old, by heaven. Let still the woman take an elder than herself. So where's she to him? <coughs> so sways she level in her husband's heart. For boy, men's fancies are more giddy and unfirm, more longing, wavering, sooner lost and won than women's are. I think it well, my lord. Then let thy love be younger than thyself. For women, there is roses, whose fair flower being once displayed doth fall that very hour. And so they are. Alas, that they are so, to die, even when they, too, perfection grow. Oh, fellows, uh, come, the song we heard last night. Mark it, Cesario. It is old and plain. The spinsters and the knitters in the sun do used to chant it. It is silly, sooth, but dallies with the innocence of love. <laughs> singing, sir. I'll pay thy pleasure then. Ah. Truly, sir, and pleasure will be paid one time or another. <laughs> now the melancholy God protects thee, for thy mind is a very opal. I would have men of such constancy put to sea that their business might be everything and their intent <laughs> everywhere. Farewell. Let all rest your place. <laughs> Once more, Cesario, get thee to yon same sovereign cruelty. Tell her my love's more noble than the world. 
the parts that fortune hath bestowed her upon her. Tell her I hold as giddily as fortune. But if she cannot love you, sir. It cannot be so answered. Truth, but you must. Say that some lady, as perhaps there is, have for your love as great a pang of heart as you have for Olivia. You cannot love her. You tell her so. Must she not then be answered? There is. No woman's sides can bide the beating of so strong a passion as love doth give my heart. <clears throat> Tis hungry as the sea and can digest as much. Make no compare between the love a woman can bear me and that I owe. Olivia! Aye, but I know. What dost thou know? Too well what love women to men may owe. In faith, they are as true of heart as we. My father had a daughter, loved a man, as I might be perhaps were I a woman, I should your lordship. And what's her history? A blank, my lord. She never told her love, but let Concealment like a worm in the bird feed on her tamisk cheek. She pined and thought and sat like patience on a monument, smiling at grief. Was not this love indeed? We men may say more, swear more, but Still we prove much in our vows, but little in our love. <coughs> but thy, thy sister of her love, my boy? I am all the daughters of my father's house. <laughs> <laughs> All the brothers too. <laughs> Yet I know not. Oh. Sir, shall I to this lady? Aye. That's the theme. To her in haste, give her this jewel. Say, my love could give no place. Bide no dinner. 